Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Oh god, I'm so dead. Hopefully none of those guys have any combat training. Maybe I can fight my way through them with the muscle I've built up. Oh, who am I kidding? This is a military base. Of course they have combat training. I, uh, I just hope Rudy's okay. If that weird alien guy found his phone, I'm worried he might have gotten hurt. Hopefully not worse. Why do I care so much? I just found out Rudy has been lying to me for the past three years, and now he's some government spy? I mean, why wouldn't I care? I can't remember a single day when I didn't wake up to hear his voice every morning. Except for today, I guess. But seriously, now I'm breaking into the same building that nearly ruined my life years ago. And for what? Some guy? Well, not just any guy. Someone smart and witty. Someone who always listened to what I had to say and told me fun stories to keep me company. Someone who just gets me and understands, even though we're still so different. He was even here after my parents died. I don't think I would have gotten through that alone. Huh. I got a lot to think about, don't I? Hmm. At least Rudy is someone deserving of the thought. Well, it looks like I'm here. Hopefully this card works and people don't ask too many questions. I mean, what are the odds of anyone recognizing me after all these years? Hmm? A newbie? So late into the portal process? I don't think so. State your name. Artem Penman. I have my ID right here. They called me in today to get it updated because some of the pilots have fallen behind in the facility upkeep. I'll be the judge of that. Hand it over. Hmm. Seems legit to me. But you're right, this thing is really outdated. How do we know that you didn't forge this? Oh, I can run it through our scanner to check if it's fake or not. Alright, fine. Give it a whirl. You're all set, sir. Have a good day. No, oh, really? That easy? I mean, uh, th thank you very much. That wasn't so bad. And Hey, if Rudy did such a good job hacking the computer system that my cart still works, maybe this little stealth mission won't actually be so bad. I just have to get to the core of the building and break something they won't be able to repair. Seems simple enough. It's not like the guards here are going to stop. And just where do you think you are going? Huh? Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to... Answer the question. Where are you going? You said something about the core. Ah, right. You see, I was just on my way down to the core to do some repairs. Gotta reboot the engines again before they overheat. You know how busted up they can get. Yes, I do. Great. Then, if you'll excuse me, I need to pick up my proper uniform from... However, I also know that the engine room hasn't been at the core in over two years. Ah, I, I see. No uniform, no badge, outdated information, old ID card, and no knowledge of the current building's layout even after we just had a lecture to review the map last week. You're violating at least 27 separate protocols, show no signs of professionalism whatsoever, and also have a face identical to the one in my database that labels you as a wanted felon with plans to break in and destroy Dr. Harvey's work. That's a lot. No shit. Now put your hands behind your back. What? Why would I do that? So I can detain you. You're clearly stupid enough to come in here without a strategic plan, but are you really dense enough to not know when you've been caught? I mean, sure. I know I've been caught, but the question remains... Does anybody else have to? What the hell are you implying? The moment I restrain you, I'm going directly to- <laughs> Hey! For a security guard, you don't know a lot about surprise attacks or combat. Sorry, Pipsqueak, but you kind of left me with no choice. Next time, pick on someone your own size. <laughs> Whoa, uh, you okay in there, man? Maybe I shouldn't- I am not Pipsqueak! I'm going to kick your ass into orbit, you Fucking dimwit! You'll be lucky to make it out of this building alive, you stupid fucking goddamn bitch! Nope, not dealing with that today. No magic, no aliens, none of that. Wait, are you one of the aliens looking for me? That means there are only two of you left in the building, right? I'm going to rip you to shreds! You incompetent jackass! Okay, I see that this conversation is going nowhere. I'll just leave you to calm down in here, okay? Alright. One alien down, two to go. I find it kind of ironic that Rudy wanted to come here to free those things. All they've done is attack me so far. Mm, maybe the others will be a bit nicer. Either way, if I blow up the core, Harvey's machine won't work whether he has the alien DNA or not. A device that complex would take decades to rebuild. So, that gives me enough time to get a better plan. So, aliens or no aliens, I gotta finish this mission. Maybe Rudy's still okay too. I hope I find him before I leave. Or... Maybe Harvey's minions already got to him? I really hope not. I mean, hey, it's just one big computer that I gotta blow up. That isn't very hard. How long could something like that possibly take?
Oh, okay. Whew. We just have to get through this door, and then we can- Hans, stop closing all the doors! Fucking relax, bitch! It's funny! What? Seriously? Ugh. You're no fun! These doors are the most entertaining thing we've found in the last four hours! Can you at least try not to be a boring old guy for five seconds? You sound like my fucking dad! <sighs> Four hours? It's been four hours. How has it already been four hours? It's actually closer to five by now. If you're asking me how long it's been since the explosion, I guess counting is a another thing that humans aren't very good at. How did your feeble minds ever manage to build a robot as wonderful as me? Uh, if you're so wonderful, smart, and strong, would you mind lending a hand with this rubble? The whole hallway ceiling's caved in, and we need to get through. No fucking way. Your manual labor is all for the organic tools. Like yourself. Okay, well, if you're not gonna help me, then why are you here? It was only a few hours ago, Artem. Please tell me your dumbass can at least remember that far back. Actually, assuming you're too stupid to remember, allow me to recap it again. Oh joy. I'm thrilled. Ignoring that word, comment, you broke into the base and destroyed Area 51's core computer. This obviously kind of pissed me off at first because I'm the robot in charge of controlling the whole facility. So you're really harshing my fucking vibes by breaking all my shit. Anyways, when I found you, you were super lost because your original exit got blocked off when the core exploding caused a lot of the building to cave in. So I generously agreed to give you my time and help you find a way out. I remember things a bit differently. Didn't you beg me to let you come along? It's just so fucking boring here, okay? I really need a break. The free entertainment is a nice touch, too. Gee, I'm so glad you're here with me right now. I know, I know. It's not every day you get to meet someone as amazing as I am. It's your lucky day, bitch. I wouldn't really call it lucky. More like... <laughs> What's this? A videotape? Wow, I really am getting old. I haven't seen a VHS tape in years. Everything's online nowadays. Hey, Hans, do you think you can play it? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Hans. What? Your voice is really fucking annoying, okay? Don't blame me! Hans! Oh my god, what? Can you play this tape or not? Ew, I mean, I can. My head's television can adapt into any input, but it, it's so old! It's a VHS tape, not a hashtag, or whatever Rudy calls those things. You're not going to stop being woke if you play an older tape model. Yeah, fine. You owe me new rolling blades for this. Hand it over. I'll play your stupid tape. Oh, thank you. It better not be a fucking porno or some shit. What is with people assuming I look at porn? I'm asexual. A romantic partner's great, sure, but I don't like any of Shut that. Shut the hell up and watch the tape, okay? I'm not playing it twice. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Ungrateful. Is it on? Do I need to press a different button? Harvey, it's already recording. <laughs> Here, let me set it up properly. There. That's better, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Thank you, Meredith. Now go on, do your little intro. Right. Uh... <clears throat> Hello to the future research and development team. I will be recording a series of short tapes for you on a weekly basis to keep you updated on our latest discoveries. That way, our field research notes and laboratory study records are all on the same page. I wanted to make this first tape on something quite special to us both. Meredith, would you like to do the honors? Of course. I've never been more excited, hon. Here at the underground base facility, one of our biggest goals from day one has been to uncover the secrets of outer space and study the potential mystery of extraterrestrial life. Today is a monumental occasion in that field. 
After years of hard work, we found something! It appears to be a meteorite of some kind. One full of a dark, oily substance with properties unlike anything we've ever seen on Earth before. However, with the assistance of my wonderful wife here, I'm certain we can discover the secrets within this anomaly. <laughs> Harvey! Stop filming this, you're being so sappy! See? I don't know what Rudy's talking about. Harvey seems fine. He looks a lot younger than when I worked here. Oh, wait, when was this recorded? Uh, this tape is from, like, 1912. But the video was transformed into a VHS tape around 1977. And what's up your face? What? Oh, are you just going to call me ugly again? Hans, I seriously don't have time it's for It's warm you. now. Did the radiation from the VHS make you sick or something? Oh, no. I was just, uh, thinking about something. Sweaty. Yeah, I just... It reminds me of the videos I used to record with my own wife. You! You're married? Divorced, actually. Oh! Well, fuck. I'm... Sorry? I guess? No, don't be. It's been like a year now, and the kids still visit a lot. I don't think that I miss Teresa very much anymore. I've already moved on from it. Then why is your skin baking? I've been thinking about some stuff today, but that's all. Like what? You gotta get to the point, dipshit. I don't want to hear your soap opera backstory for the next half hour. Thinking about life stuff. Don't get me wrong, I cared about Teresa a lot. She was a great friend of mine and we were dating for a long time before we got married. But even before the divorce, I always just had imagined what my wedding would be like ever since I was really little. My parents were really grounded in tradition, even though my grandparents were a bit more accepting, so I was expected to marry the perfect girl. I was lucky to meet Teresa because she seemed to fit that role, well, perfectly, but it wasn't everything I'd imagined it to be, and even though I was happy with the family we made, I, I just didn't feel like I belonged in it, if that makes any sense. Aha, uh -huh. right, right. So you're gay. What? Or bye. Like, I don't judge. I mean, sure, I'm an asshole. But even I wouldn't stoop that low. But that's not what I was trying to say. Bitch, please. You're making it painfully obvious you're into guys. Maybe that divorce wasn't such a bad thing, okay? And if you get along with your ex, it's clearly a healthy relationship. So, I don't see a harm in trying to find someone new to make you happy. It just so happens that, that this someone is gonna have a dick. Hans. Shut the hell up. I don't even- You wear a cowboy hat and khakis. Artem, that's pretty gay. And, hey, aren't you the one who Ruby calls every day? You know about that? Uh, duh. He isn't exactly subtle either. The two of you idiots were practically made for each other. Hmm. What are you implying? If you need me to spell it out for you at this point, I'd rather not say. Okay, you know what? Fine. Let's just get back to looking for an exit now that this hallway is cleared. Maybe there's something we... <coughs> Did you hear that? No, I'm completely deaf. Of course I heard it, you fucking moron! It can't be. I thought that weird guy got his phone. You mean Salaman? Nah, he never caught up the Rudy after grabbing his phone. In fact, nobody could find him after a while. What? You think that Rudy would let himself get caught so easily? He plays a fuck ton of those spy games, so I doubt that he's... ever... Oh shit! The ceiling caved in here too. Wait, is that... Someone's trapped under there. Hey, are you okay? Hello, can you hear me? I got one of your hands free, now I just need to- Huh? Oh, my hand. Sweet, thanks man. I wanna make sure I go out giving a thumbs up and it was kinda hard to do that with- Rudy? No, no, don't put your thumbs up. Uh, uh, hold on, I got you. Ugh, damn, that did a number on my head. Guess I don't get any bonus points for being sneaky. I, Artsy, that you? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, it's me. You're safe now. I already blew up the core and the aliens are free looking for me. Now all we have to do is get you out of here. Huh, you actually look a lot different than I expected you to. Is that a bad thing? Are you gonna, you know... Rudy... We've been over this. I'm not going to leave just because of what you look like. It's just... 
kind of surprising. I mean, your skin is gray? I think this is gray, at least, and your eyes seem a bit brighter than most people's, too. Are you wearing contacts? Because it actually looks pretty cool, and you also have... Yeah? Uh, you have four arms? Hmm. I guess Zellerman wasn't lying about that part. You met Zellerman? I mean, yeah, but only over a short phone call. So, are you, you know, an alien? Oh my fucking god, Artem! You can't just ask someone if they're an alien! Hans, I am this close to punching you in the- Yeah, I am. What? Seriously? You didn't really believe I hacked into Area 51 with some Minecraft cheat codes, did ya? I mean, maybe? Nah, man. I've always been here. Normally in a cage, though. I see. Wait, Rudy. Okay, let me guess. You got a lot of weird alien questions, right? No, I don't breathe fire. And my eyes only glow in the dark sometimes, but I also never- I was going to ask if you were hurt, man. Not try to unlock your secret genetic code. Oh! That actually seems like a fair thing to ask. And the answer is, maybe? I think I'm good, but my leg kinda hurts, so it might slow us down a bit. That's fine. I'm just socially awkward, but glad you're okay. Huh? Really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, knock it off. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll be chill. We aren't that far from the exit here. They actually just gotta down the elevator and find the underground bunker exit. It's from back before they built any upper levels and officially founded Area 51 as a government building. You could still escape that way. I haven't left yet because I was worried about the damn portal, but with the core broken, we should be safe. Oh yeah! Thanks for breaking all my shit, by the way! Not like I needed it or anything! You're welcome, dude. It wasn't supposed to be- Okay, that's enough. Here. Rudy, give me your arm. Or one of them. I can help you get to the elevator, no problem. And, hey, were you ever attacked by the other aliens? I ran into one of them earlier. He was disguised as a security guard. Huh? Oh, no way. Those disguises fucking sucked. A pro gamer like me can easily avoid them. Harvey was the only one who found me, but instead of taking me in, he just knocked down the ceiling. I don't know why, though. Ceiling isn't the only thing he knocked down. What do you mean? There's another fucking tape over here. Just lying in the middle of the rubble. It isn't one of my game cartridges, either. Weird. No. We just found one of these outside in the hallway, too. Hans, can you read what the tape label says? Yeah, give me a fucking second. Uh, it says this was first recorded in 1955. The date Area 51 was founded. A few of the notes on the tape's label say some shit about aquatics and the discovery of alien life. This is... Probably from when Harvey first started the portal project. Yeah, Aquanix is a jerk. I wish this stupid rock never landed here. He's been scheming with Harvey for years. Wait a second. The first tape was recorded in 1912. That was 108 years ago. How old is Harvey? He looked like he was already 40 in that first video, so if my guess is right, he'd have to be about almost 150 years old. How is that possible? I mean, Zalaman is nearly... 147. So that makes sense. Ugh. Those two need the upper room. I can't stand their old guys in love routine. Just destroy our damn planet and get it over with. Can't destroy it anymore. The portal machine is busted now that Artsy here destroyed the core, remember? And once they get out of this hellhole, they won't have enough alien DNA to make a new one if they ever fix the core. The galaxy is safe. Does that make us heroes? I want to get a cool hat as a reward. Aw, but you already have a nice hat. This one doesn't count. I need one with sunglasses attached. Okay, wait. We can discuss getting you that awesome hat later, but I got a question. What happened to Meredith? She was in that first video, but I never met her before in all my years working here. I've only ever met Harvey, who didn't mention having a love interest of any kind. What gives? Ah, uh, duh. Meredith fucking died, Artem. Humans don't live that long, you know? Then how is Harvey, like, 150 years old? Is that why he'd be with Zalaman now? They're both super old? But Harvey can't be that old. It's impossible. Actually, it is possible. Equinox is a parasitic life form, an extraterrestrial that needs a living host to survive. So he's able to keep Harvey alive for a prolonged lifespan in order to make the human scientist complete his plans. Equinox wouldn't have been able to build his portal machine without possessing Harvey. It is quite simple, really. Okay, that's an explanation that kind of makes sense. Wait, wait, who are you? 
What are you? Why do your eyes glow? Where did you come from just now? Oh, whoa. Those are a lot of questions. You must be very curious. Rudy, do you know this guy? Is he one of the aliens trying to kidnap you and kill me? Relax, Artsy. This is just Benji. He's one of my friends here at the facility. Don't have a lot of them, but Benji, he's a good guy. Oh, okay. I swear I'm getting too old for this. I'm going to have a heart attack. My apologies. Allow me to formally introduce myself to you. Hello, I am Benji, an automated caretaker and greenhouse field researcher here at Area 51 Federal Base. I am very knowledgeable of the fauna and flora of every planet we have collected data from. The flowers on my neck are a sample of our latest crops, genetically modified Valis perennis and yellow variants of the Gerbera plantae. Uh, I have some daisies like that back on my farm. They look nice. Thank you very much, sir. Just Artem is fine, and it's no problem. I'm actually relieved to meet another friendly face down here. We need to get to an exit, but half the people left in this destroyed building are out to get us. You think you can help us out? Oh, heavens. I would love to be of assistance. However, I'm afraid I'm already preoccupied with a worry of my own. Aw, oh, Benji, what's wrong? It appears that I have made minor miscalculations in my own plans of escape and have lost track of my little brother Mantis. He cannot see very well, and I need assistance to search for him. My own eyes do not work very well in the dark, as they glow too bright for me to see in great detail. Hey, we already know where the exit is, right? It wouldn't hurt to help Benji on our way downstairs. Hey, agreed. We can help you find the little dude. I mean, uh, this is more ironic, but sure, whatever. I guess I'm tagging you on. The name's Hans, by the way. I'm very excited for this shit show. Hooray! Wonderful! It is such a delight to meet both of you and Artem. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice to have so much company for a change. No, oh, that wasn't enough for you, big guy. <laughs> no, you were definitely all the company I could ever need. I love talking to you, buddy, but it's a neat change of pace to be in a group. Hmm, fair enough, my dude. Maybe we can- Is somebody out there? Help! The door won't budge! Oh, shoot. No, no, it's not a trap. This is actually kind of sort of my fault. How the hell is this your fault? I may or may not have shoved them in a locker and left them there. Ha, huh, nice job, Artsy. That'll level you up for sure. Maybe we're ready for the next boss battle now, right? Thanks, Rudy, but no. I just didn't want them to tell Harvey I was here. All things considered, I should probably let them out. Please, let me go. It's so tight in here, and, and I can't 